Hi guys, it's Jessica here to talk to you a little bit about music. This week I'm going to be talking about the Grammys because they are airing on Sunday. And uh, while I think the Grammys have sort of become a joke in, you know, like the past probably 10 years even, it's, I can't not watch the Grammys. It's like my Super Bowl, you know, I get really excited about stuff and, you know, throw things at the TV. So... I'm going to just go over a few of the categories that I'm most excited about and tell you who I hope will win. So first is the most important category to me, Best Alternative Music Album. And I really hope that it goes to Fiona Apple for The Idler Wheel because this album is amazing. Fiona Apple in general is just extremely talented, probably one of the most talented musicians we have around right now. And even though you don't really hear her on the radio very often, she's got a really big following of fans, myself included. And The Idler Wheel is just, it's really stripped down and raw and emotional. And it's actually, it could be my favorite Fiona Apple album of all time. So I really hope that it wins. And I also, a little part of me kind of hopes that she's there to accept it and that she does something crazy because... I don't know. I just can't see Fiona Apple going up on stage and being like, thank you, this means so much to me. I want her to remind us of why the music industry is baloney. That's what I want. That's what I'm really hoping for. So we'll see how it goes. Next category, best pop duo slash group performance. I'm hoping this one goes to Florence and the Machine for Shake It Out. Uh, Florence and the Machine is a really interesting band. Uh, I'm honestly kind of surprised that they're as popular as they are just because they're so good. It's rare these days for a really talented, unique band to get as much attention as Florence and the Machine's getting. But I'm really happy about it. I'm really excited for them and for their success, and I think that they really deserve it. She has an extremely unique, beautiful, strong voice, and then the music itself is like nothing I've ever heard before. And personally, I, th I wasn't a huge fan of Ceremonials. Uh, I liked Lungs better. But all things considered, this song is great. And she nails it vocally. So I really think that they have a shot at winning, and I hope that they do. Best Pop Solo Performance. Can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm going to give it up to Adele for Set Fire to the Rain. Anyone who knows me knows that I have this weird, irrational hatred for Adele. And... I don't know why her voice is like nails on a chalkboard to me and I don't understand why I feel that way everybody loves Adele in the whole world everybody loves Adele except me that's how I feel and I just can't put my finger on why she annoys me so much but I can't stand her voice but in this song first and you know there are other songs where she just nails it and I feel it and I get it and this is one of them and she definitely deserves to win and she's Adele so she probably will record of the year I'm hoping for this to go to somebody that I used to know by Gautier. This song, it blew up out of nowhere, which is really cool, I think, because I think it's a good pop song. And it's a really good breakup song, and that's an experience that a lot of people can connect with. And so I think that's why this song has gotten so big, is because it really summarizes all the feelings of a breakup and so that's really cool to me and it was huge so it deserves this recognition and I'm hoping that they win because it's really catchy it's really relatable it's good overall and finally album of the year to be honest I wasn't terribly impressed with any of the options for this category um, but if I had to pick one I would go with Jack White for Blunderbuss because I really like the style of music that he chose to explore. It kind of reminds me of like Modest Mouse, like older Modest Mouse in a way, and also a little bit of the Pixies thrown in there. I just love when artists, when rock artists, bring elements of rockabilly and blues and folk and just bring it all together and they make something that sounds really unique but really cool and sort of old timey but also very modern. It's, it's a really nice blend of sounds. And I think he did a great job with it. And even though the album came out last April, so it feels like when I saw that on the nominees list, I was like, 
that feels like forever ago that that album came out because it kind of it was a big deal when it first came out and then it sort of just faded away and I almost forgot about it but it is really great and I hope that it wins probably won't but I hope it does so those are my picks for my five most anticipated categories and I want to hear from you guys Tell me which categories you're most excited about and which nominees you hope will win. Leave a comment, leave a video comment, anything. Uh, and I will see you guys next week.